There are four key elements involved in the launch. The first is the countdown team. All members of SAC's top hand program, the members of this team, are located in the missile complex area at the launch support center. The launch director is in charge of the team and is responsible for all actions during the count. The test conductor, in addition to training the task force crews on procedures prior to the launch, directs all crew actions during the count and ensures that liftoff will occur exactly at the pre-planned time. The countdown control officer acts as the voice of the team. He controls the pace of the countdown by reading the checklist over the net and operates the range clock. The fourth member of the countdown team is the Launch Environmental Protective System Control and Monitor Operator. He monitors the special Vandenberg equipment at the launch facility that protects the launcher from the missile's exhaust blast during launch. He also can, at the launch director's command, prevent launch up until first stage ignition. The 392nd Communications Group which maintains the complex ground data system used to check out and control the onboard instrumentation equipment, provides the final team members, the monitor, and the control operator and his assistants. They operate the console used to configure the onboard safety and instrumentation systems for launch. Back on the main portion of Vandenberg, located at the Western Space and Missile Center headquarters, is the second key element, the Launch Operations Control Center. The one Strad commander and his deputy chief of staff for test and evaluation, as well as the test manager and members of the one Strad technical staff, operate out of this area. And it is from here that the final launch go or no-go decision is made. The third key element, the Range Operations Control Center, is the nerve center of the Western Test Range and is located in the room next to the Launch Operations Control Center. Here, the range operations supervisor oversees the functioning of the entire Western Test Range. To ensure effective support for range users, this agency ties instrumentation, range safety, and many other elements together all along the 4,200 nautical mile path to the target area at the Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands of the South Pacific. The task force missile launch crews are the fourth key element in this massive effort. The crews are located underground in a launch control center that is electrically connected to the launch facility containing the test missile. After receiving a SAC test initiation message, they will insert the weapon system launch commands that actually launch the missile. As the time to pick up the actual countdown nears, final preparations are being completed. Roadblocks are set up as part of a safety cordon around the launch facility, and area security checks are started to ensure no one is within the cordoned off safety area. Final communication checks are completed and the final countdown begins.